I have loads of really long videos, hour long videos, two hour long videos covering loads and loads of maths and science. I'm going to put a link to all of them down below and this video will talk you through how you can use those other videos in the best way. The best type of studying is active and not passive. So sitting there just watching the video isn't going to be the best thing that you can do. What I want you to do is to have the video on, to have pen, to have paper, highlighters, different colour pens, and as you go through the video, make notes. All the videos should have captions on them now so that you can pause the videos at any point, write down what I'm saying, copy down any of the pictures. Then go through that, highlight the keywords in there and then the definitions, maybe write them in a different colour. All of these are in the video so you can just copy them down from the screen. Pause it, restart it, and if you get confused by anything, you can rewind it and watch it again. Over on my website, you can go and download my free revision guide, which has checklists in there. The checklists are in the same order as the videos. So once you finish a section or once you finish the whole video, you can go through the checklist, read the different statements, and decide how well you know it. Then if there's anything that you don't understand, you can go and look it up. And you can look it up by going through to the extra videos, which should all be in a really, really big, long playlist for each exam. Now, I know loads and loads of you want um, revision guides that have notes in. My revision guides don't have notes in. They have questions in. They have things for you to do in there. And this is very, very deliberate. Because if you get a revision guide that has notes in, then the temptation is to read it and to highlight it and to think you're studying and I'm afraid that's not going in. The best type of studying is active, not passive. So making your own notes as you go through the video, copying stuff down, doing questions, hundreds and hundreds of questions, going through, deciding what you know, deciding what you don't know. It's very, very deliberate that I haven't published a set of notes for you because I've made the video notes for you and I want you to be as prepared as possible for the exam and I think the best way for you to study is making your own notes in language that you understand from the videos. And once you've made the notes, you can go through, check which bits you don't know, you can make flashcards from them, you can make mind maps from them. And then the week before the exam, go through, watch the video again. You don't have to make notes this time because you've made notes already, but just check there's nothing in there that you don't completely understand. That's Prim, destroying my Lego in the background. Prim. Check there's nothing in there you don't understand. So this is the second going over of the video. And then the night before the exam, or just the morning of the exam, then watch it for a last time as a final recap over everything. Have a look at your notes, have a look at your flashcards, watch the video again, um, just so that it all goes in. So I hope that video or this explanation is helpful, telling you how to use or how to best use my videos. Um, don't just watch them, make notes as you're watching them, use the checklist in the free version guide for my website so that you know you've covered everything, so you know the bits that you're confident in, the bits that you're not confident in, you can then go and look up using the links to the other videos. Watch the video again before the exam, watch the video again the night before the exam. So good luck guys, I'm keeping all of my things and cut taste grass for you. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.